Hey, I'm the Cat Toy Lady. Today's toy is going to be based off of something that you may see on Facebook and different websites. They're fun sheets for your cat to play with that hold up. It's not like paper where it shreds. Um, this is going to be a lot more durable, but still have that fun rustle that cats love. And believe it or not, shock, uh, I went to the dollar store. All you need is a tablecloth. And this will actually get you two toys out of it. Let's get this bad boy open. All right, now that it's open, you're gonna unravel it. So once you get it unraveled, fold it in half and cut along the fold. All right, now that it's cut in half, you're gonna fold it in half again. Now that you folded it long ways, fold it the opposite direction. You're gonna make a short little side to it. So these were the two open ends that you had from cutting it, trimming it before. We're gonna take this and we're gonna make fringes. Very easy to do. Again, nothing fancy. Just give it some trim. And now your tassels to your play mat is done. So when you start peeling it apart, you can see how the tassels kind of flow. We can even call it a magic carpet. So we have fun little pieces. When you blow on it, it's going to look like a bird in the leaves. It's going to drive your cats nuts. And what's great about this material that the tablecloths are made from is that it's a stretchy plastic. It's not going to shred and leave long strings like a regular grocery bag would. And you don't have to worry about the handles that they get stuck in. But should they be able to get a hole through it, it just leaves the hole. It doesn't do these long pieces. These pieces, when they pop off, are going to pop off in little pieces, should your cat be able to get them off. This is going to go through your cat's stomach a whole lot easier than a long string of a plastic bag. So this is a lot safer alternative. But do remember, if you have a cat that you know eats plastic, this is not a toy for them. They are going to eat it. You already know that. So don't give it to them. So there we go. You hear that Russell? Going to drive your cats nuts. They can pounce. You can hide treats in it. You can put toys underneath it. You can play with wand toys underneath uh, to really get them moving and trying to attack it. And just in case you happen to get a uh, tablecloth like I did and didn't realize there's a defect in it, um, <laughs> you can have peekaboo holes. <laughs> but this is going to be fun. What my cat loves is I fluff it up, I put the feathers on top, and I put a treat. Then I blow on it, just a nice little gentle so it moves. When they attack, she gets to eat what she just caught. So it's not that pointless game, kind of like the red dot. No, this they actually get satisfaction out of and they get that fun rustling. And when they're done, it's going to hold heat. They're gonna sleep on it and be comfortable, and do their cat nap. It's a win-win. So I hope you liked this toy. It was really easy to make. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and to hit subscribe if you hadn't. I have lots of fun toys to come in the new year and a few surprises to come too. Now go make your cat some toys.